Hey guys, Scott here. Uh, so today is Stretch Monday. So in today's video, we're going to be covering a more, more specific muscle that we'll be stretching. Generally, last week we covered an overall top to bottom stretch, and this stretch is going to, uh, this video is going to cover one muscle, um, including maybe some secondary muscles that we might hit, including your IT band, uh, your hip flexors, but the main muscle that we're going to be covering is actually your quadricep. So your quadricep is is the front part of your, your leg. Your hamstring is the back side of your leg, just to clarify. So the hamstring, there are different movements and stretches that you can perform, but in today's ex video and example, I'm going to be kind of covering some things that you can do with the own comfort of your own home, uh, some things that you can utilize and go ahead and alleviate and release some of that tension that you might have from maybe doing front squats, from maybe rowing, from doing lunges, uh, anything that might work your lower body. Generally, when your quadriceps hurt, your hamstrings hurt, so it's a good thing to combine both stretches, but just for the sake of this film, I'm gonna go ahead and cover um, specifically stretches that cover a majority of your quadriceps. So to start off in this video, we're gonna go ahead and cover the couch stretch. It's called the couch stretch because generally you can use a couch, you can use a bed, um, you could even use a wall if you'd like. Um, if you use a wall, it's a little bit more strain on your ankle because you can't really have your foot dangle off. The wall is kind of pushing on your foot. That'll make more sense if you try it. Um, but for the sake of space and what, what I have here, we're going to go ahead and use this couch and actually perform a couch stretch, if you will. So start off by finding a couch, bed, whatever it might be, a wall if you need to. And I'd like you to go ahead and scoot up on the wall. And I want you to drive that knee back as far to the wall as you can so that your leg is completely flat with the wall. I don't want to see any gaps. The minute there's a gap and you're all the way up here, that's not getting a full stretch. What needs to happen is you need to find the position where you can push that knee as far back as you can all the way to the wall and then slowly work yourself up. And in order to kind of hold that balance and get that stretch in your quadricep, you'll do both sides. But for the sake of the camera angle, I'm going to only do the left side here. Go ahead and find anything and everything that you can use to kind of help for balance. And so what you'll do is ideally you want to keep your back as straight as possible. If you're leaning forward a little bit, that's okay. You, you'll go ahead and you'll get that hip flexibility and that mobility with time, including that stretch mobility. So for the sake of it, you can go ahead, relax on this, and every time you're breathing on that inhale, I want you to inhale and then exhale. As that exhale is happening, go a little deeper into that. And again, try to maintain that knee far up against the wall as you can so that there is full contact with that uh, front part of your leg. So as you're working, what you can do is go ahead and scoot your foot forward. So you'll be in a kind of a, like a lunge and you'll start noticing the stretch right when you put your foot out forward. So as you're doing this, go ahead and slowly work yourself up and you're working those, those breaths. That exhale, you're pushing a little bit farther. Don't go too far to the point where it's hurting. Just go to, go to the point where you feel enough tension that you can feel your muscles releasing. So as you're doing that, go ahead and slowly work your way. And again, if you get to this point and your knee is off the wall, chances are that mobility and flexibility in your hip is not there and that tightness is too tight. So make sure that knee is all the way back. If you need to be forward a little bit, resting on your knee, that's fine as long as you're getting some stretch in that, in that quadricep. So as you're doing it, go ahead and you can go ahead, slowly work farther and farther back, keeping that back as straight as possible. Don't let it round. We want to get enough. We want to get nice, proper form. So keep that back straight. If you're leaning forward, keep your back straight still. Just lean and then slowly work your way up a little bit farther and a little bit farther. So that's the first example that you can do using a simple couch, bed, wall, whatever it might be, if you need to find something for balance. Um, that is the couch stretch. So the next move that I'm going to be covering is called the dragon pose. Now, or there's, I'm sure, a million other names for it, um, but I've used it, I've called it the dragon pose before. So simply, you can use a mobility band for this, but for the sake of doing this at your home with no equipment, we're going to be going and skipping the band. So same thing, you're going to go ahead and find yourself in a lunge. You'll do both sides so you get an even stretch. 
Find yourself in a lunge with this back knee on the ground and back fully straight. And I want you to go ahead and sink those hips into that stretch. You're going to feel a lot of stretch on that, on that quadricep and even a little bit in your hip flexors. You're going to feel that opening up. So as you go lower, again, I'd like to keep your back straight. There are different stretches that you can do that'll work different muscles. If you lean all the way forward, that tends to open up your hip flexors. That's a different stretch, but for the sake of just your quadricep, I really like you to just stay up straight. Go and sink your hips as far down as you can while you're not, as long as you're not rounding your back or leaning too far forward. I want that back straight up and down. Again, if you need something for balance, you can go ahead and do this or a ball. If you have like a mobile or um, any kind of ball or box or anything that you can lean on, you can do that too. As long as that back is nice up, it's nice straight up and down. And you want those hips slowly to sink. Now, every time you go deeper into that stretch, that's when you're exhaling. So inhale and then exhale on that stretch even deeper. So again, this is going to work a lot of your quadricep, a little bit in, a little bit more of maybe even your adductors, your abductors. Um, so as you're working into this, you'll get notice a lot more depth throughout the weeks of doing this. So go ahead to do that for some period of time. I recommend these stretches. Maybe do them for 30 seconds to 45 seconds at a time. Come out of it, switch legs, do the stretch again. Maybe do two rounds of it. Don't go overboard on these stretches. So. That's the second stretch that I recommend for your quadriceps. Now, the last one is a little bit weird. It's kind of like you're doing a contortion. Um, it's called the pretzel pose. So I'm sure, again, there are different names for this stretch. So to start off with this, I want you to go ahead, get on your hands and knees. So you'll be in almost like the cat stretch. If you've ever done yoga before, you know what this is. So what you're going to do, uh, or the tabletop is what it's called, you're going to go ahead and find your hands right underneath your shoulders and I want you to bring this your right or your left foot you're going to switch sides either way for the sake of me doing only the left side on these examples I'm going to do my right side you're going to bring this knee forward and drive the foot through now I don't know if you can see too too well on the camera but what you're simply going to do is drive this knee forward to your chest rotate your foot out and then push it through. So if you're using your right foot, you're going to push your leg through your left side. Bring that up, drag it forward, and you're going to slowly sit into this. Now this back leg, I don't know if you can see it too much. What you want to try to prevent from doing is letting this foot round internally. If you can, try to drive that foot so that it's nice and straight, so it's completely straight forward, not internally rotated. So work on that. The other thing I want you, I want to note in this is when you're doing this stretch, if you're going really deep and you're really leaning into it, what I want to see you do or prevent from doing is dropping this outside leg down to the ground. You want to keep this up. You want to keep your hips in a nice forward position so that it's nice and straightforward. Don't let it sit onto your right side if you're, if you're stretching this left quadricep. You'll also be noticing a bit of a stretch in your IT band on this. So the IT band will be on the leg that's bent. Your quadricep is going to be on the leg that is straight. So as you're doing this, again, you can use a box, something to balance as you're exhaling into the stretch. So what you're going to do is slowly work into it going down every five seconds and slowly you get to a point where you'll start noticing yourself completely relaxing into this stretch. Now, like I said, watch that back foot so that it's not rounded in and watch your, your right side. Whatever side of the leg that is bent, I want you to keep those hips off the ground. Try to keep everything square. So as you're here, just relax here for almost a minute as you've worked to this point, and then you're going to switch legs. Now, if you want a little bit more of a stretch on that quadricep, what you can also do, this is a little bit more challenging. What you're going to do is you're going to bring this foot up, 
and you're going to bring that same hand back with your right foot still bent or your left foot bent, whichever side you're doing, and you're going to basically pull it in and you're going to feel that extremely in that stretch on that quadricep on that straighter leg. So as you do it, again, kind of keep this back rounded. When you're doing this stretch, I don't, I've never seen anyone do this <laughs> to lay completely forward. You really should be sitting up while you're doing this with your leg bent underneath you. So you truly look like a pretzel at this point, but it does work your quadriceps. So now you can do the same thing on the other side. Simply find that tabletop position, drive your opposite foot through, over, Again, with the foot, make sure it's straight, not internally rotated towards your midline. Keep this hip off the ground. You'll feel a stretch in your IT band. Open up the hip flexors a little bit and slowly work into this relaxed position. Exhaling into your, into your stretch. And then if you want it, again, same thing applies. Don't grab from the outside grab from the inside of your foot on both sides and you can do the same and that'll stretch your other quadricep. So those are some simple examples. Uh, there is a multitude of other quadricep stretches that you can do. Again, generally if your quadriceps hurt, your hamstrings are probably going to be a little sore as well. Um, so you'll be probably incorporating some sort of hamstring stretch into your warm up or your cool down. And so that's the tip for the day. That's my stretch Monday for this week. I hope it helps, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.